is the God of the vagina. What you get if you believe in him, vagina. What you get if you believe in him, long penis. What you get if you believe in him, 70 years orgasm. This is vagina God. And he made them kiss it. The black stone was a vagina. This is why you see Abu Bakr. He said to somebody he don't believe in Islam, he said to him, go and suck the clitoris of Allah. What the clitoris? Where was located? Where we can find it? That is the black stone. The black stone which Muslims worship claiming that eh, they are just the prophet he kissed it so we kiss it okay why the prophet kiss it uh, because uh, you know uh, you know because he kiss it we kiss it okay why he kiss it they can't give you an answer because it's very embarrassing فَقَالَ أَبُو بَكْرُ إِمْسُسْ بَذْرَ اللَّاتِ Abu Bakr, he said to him, go and suck the clits of a lad. Can you believe it? Yesterday we showed you Muhammad saying, go and suck the penis or, or bite the penis of your father. Did you guys say the reference? You remember it? This is Islam. A Muslim, he will pause for you the Song of Songs. He said, do you know what the Song of Songs is saying? First of all, the Song of Songs is not God talking. Secondly, this is not even about women. This is about a king making a poetry. That's why it's called Song, you idiot. And by the way, the Muslim, they were making fun of the Song of Songs for centuries. The second did that, he says, Muhammadim, the dum dum the dum is there. Suddenly, the Song of Songs became about, became about Muhammad. Suddenly, Muhammad, he have a grass in his chest. Suddenly, Muhammad became a city. <laughs> Suddenly Muhammad became Jerusalem. <laughs> uh, look at this uh, this kid. Uh, Islam the way the way to what to the sewage. We just showed you your prophet. He took the way of Islam and he went to the sewage directly, and he took a shower there every day. So guys, look what the, what the Muslim they say. They cannot debate me, and they are desperate. So look what they say. Boza hmm. <laughs> Baza, who? No one want to see CP face. All they want him to accept the challenge in public debate, you stupid, how public it can be. We have 1,500 people watching live. It is more public than YouTube, where there's billions of people they can see it. Have you ever heard of a public debate better than this? You need to prepare for a century to make 1,500 or 2,000 to attend. It's for free. Public debate? Isn't it? This is public. Are we private? You want to debate me? Public debate. So what is this? Are we in the bathroom? I turned the clear breath. To debate me and I told him bring 2,000 people and fly all the way to Bangladesh and I'm going to debate you that's what he said to me in, in, in Facebook the coward potato uh, Zach and I he wanted to bring 2,000 people with me <laughs> guys I'm so rich I can pay for your ticket though and you know what where we will go to Bangladesh I mean uh, people will come like crazy I mean the second you say Bangladesh they will like like what we will go to Bangladesh I don't even need to convince them. I mean, like, th this is the destiny. Uh, hey, Fatima, how are you? Hello. Uh, hello. You are a shake and you say hello? Wait, huh? Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. 
Okay. Are you free? Because I see, I know, I know, I saw uh, that you were debating and you were quite busy. So I know I shouldn't have called at wrong times. But are you free right now? Yeah, I'm free right now. What do you want to say to us? Are you in Bangladesh now? Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Are you in Bangladesh now? No, I'm not from Bangladesh. Oh, okay. Because Zakir Naik invited me to go to Bangladesh to debate him. Uh, I, I I don't listen to Zakir Naik myself. Zakir Why, Naik, wrong? I don't want to hear about what, him. What's wrong with Zakir Naik? What's wrong? Z Z Zakir Naik is not a scholar. He's a dai. There's a difference between a dai and a scholar. Okay, are you a scholar? I never claimed to be a scholar. No, I said sheikh. Sheikh, what does that mean? Okay, all right. So you now you want to play these games? I I don't want I don't have time for this. The other day, did you say? If you don't have, if, if if you don't have oh, listen, listen. If you don't have time, then hang up. You did you were you talking about Surah Al Minun verse fourteen where it says Allah is the best of creators? Yes or no? Yes. Huh? Uh huh. Okay. So hmm. what is the Arabic word used in that verse? Since you're an Arabic scholar. Khaliqin. Khaliqin. What does that mean? Creators. Okay, why is the word badia not used? What badia mean? Badia means to create something from nothing. The badia means to create something from nothing? To originate. <laughs> Unique. Okay. Many, okay. many words. Okay, words. I'm listening. Go ahead. I'm listening. Go ahead. So when, when you create something from nothing, hmm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has the power to create something from nothing. Really? Like he created the sky, for example. He created many things from nothing, but a human being mm. can be a creator in the sense where mm. they create something from a material. For example, mm. if you have a tree, mm. can you can a human being create a tree if they have wood? They mm. can. That's why the word khalaqa is used. Mm. But can they create a tree without wood? They can. not Mm. So it's in less insignificance, mm. if you understand, but you don't know the Arabic. That's why you just told me what is badia. Uh, you not know you Arabic. claim to be an Arabic okay. scholar. Uh, guys, I do not know Arabic. Uh, speak to me in Arabic. Hmm? Speak to me in Arabic. Hmm? Well, if you don't know, why would I speak to you? you I'm idiot. asking you, you a question. Because you're an answer. idiot. You just said to me, I do not know Arabic, and you are teaching me Arabic, but you yourself do not know Arabic. How, how do I not know? Uh, speak to me in Arabic. Go ahead. What, what do you want me to tell you? Tell me whatever you want. Tell me whatever you said now in Arabic. I told you. I said the word badia. No, no, no. no. Tell, me that. Tell, me, tell me the whole story in Arabic. Forget about English. You start from zero. Tell me in Arabic what you said. Answer my question. Man. <laughs> Don't come. Answer my question. So you are teaching an Arab, you are teaching an Arab person Arabic, but you do not know speak what Arabic words. So what badia mean? Look, I asked you a question, right? Abdul, so Abdul, Ab Abdul, 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 Abdul. Uh, uh, you know, I like you. Honestly, you are, you are. You, this is why you call yourself Fatima because you think you are a girl, right? I, I, I told you about that. I, I said it's not even my Skype account. I don't uh, want to hear that. I you, asked but, you a question. But, why but, can't okay, you but you keep it. Why but you keep jumping? it. Okay, okay. Hold why are on. you jumping? Okay, hold on, hold on. So, if Allah is the originator of everything, correct? Correct. All right. Who is the originator of the leg of Allah? Of what? The leg of Allah. You're talking about Surah Kalam 68 verse 42? I don't know. You know better. Okay, yeah. That's talking about the greatness of Allah. Okay. okay no. There's something called who? Sifat. If you understand. <clears throat> don't fool people. Hmm. So, uh, uh, so what does Shin of Allah present here? It's talking about the greatness of Allah. You so, know the verse. So, uh, you want to post the verse so, so people okay, can read? Uh, this is not a question. I'm asking you. Who is the one who created the Shin of Allah? Well, the, the, that's a foolish question to ask. What are Why? you trying to say? Why? What are you trying to prove? Well, because Allah is a physical being and He have a shin. And no, you, no, and no, you, no, 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 no. That's you, why it says, "Wallam yakullahu kufu wa nahad." Okay, nothing is equal to Him. Who cares? No, nothing equal to my dog too. That, that, that's why. That's why there's Surah Al Ikhlas. Okay, this is not the question. Allah you have shen. spread it many, many Ab lies. Abdul, I see Abdul, multiple, Abdul, let us, let us laugh. Let us you say that let the us laugh. Okay. Oh, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't scream. You said he's stolen don't, underwear. Don't you scream. Don't no scream. Proof. Don't change the topic. Don't change. You're, you're, no, you, you, you see, no the, sec the second we, we go try to be consistent in the topic, you, you start jumping, trying to. Don't force me to hang up on you. Don't be a kid. So I'm asking you now. Is the shin of Allah? I'm not a kid. You is, tell me. I is, want reference. Is the shin Is the shin of Allah physical or not? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cannot be described. He's this not is not physical. the question. He cannot be described. Yes. Did he say he's not, he's not physical? 
I, I just explained to you. You're no. not listening. Can you this confirm? Is your I am listening now. Can you confirm for the second time that Allah is not physical? Can you let me speak? Here we go. The same game. Can you let me speak? <laughs> You're not letting me speak. You're not. I, I stopped talking. I'm waiting said, for you. you kept, I have to keep repeating my question. Okay. Are you going to I speak? Said, yes, you can speak. I said is Allah, Allah, is, not, just, is, Allah is a physical... Shut, shut up. I'm asking the question now. You answer after I finish. Is Allah a person who is a physical being? Your mic. First of all, you're saying is Allah a person. That doesn't make sense, what you're saying right there. He is, not he a is the creator. And when the way you describe him, you say, There's not like me. I have hands, right? For example, I have hands. This is another question. They're physical. S I move them. Say, Abdul, listen, focus, focus. Stop drinking camera urine. I'm asking you, is Allah is a physical being or not? You know, you must you must watch a lot of Zakir Naik videos. <laughs> uh, sure, sure, I watch for the women I love, you see. <laughs> Same as people who watch it too. <laughs> so, is Allah a physical being or not? No. Is Allah is a I, physical I, being? I answered you, I said no. no okay, it's guys, okay, physical. so now it's my time to prove it. Read carefully with me. This is your prophet. Go ahead. This is your prophet saying that they asked Muhammad, are we going to see Allah in the day of resurrection? Muhammad, okay. he says, do you have difficulty to see the sun? In midday when it's bright okay. and there's no cloud in the sky they replied no he said do you have any difficulty seeing the moon in a full moonlight when it's bright they said no here, here he replied the prophet said well this is how you will see Allah no difficulty seeing Allah is that something they will see physically or not you're so twisting the criteria over here. You're you're trying to twist it. I I explained to you. You see how when you speak, I let you speak. Stop I don't making a speech. Is, I don't uh, talk uh, over you. Stop being stupid. Give me the answer right away. Don't give me a lecture before I'm you know. I'm giving you the answer no, as no. long as you be okay, quiet. No. Respect. Are they going to see Allah literally, or they will not see Allah? People will see Allah in Jannah. What they will when see? When they make it to Jannah, okay, what they, they will they, see Allah. Okay, what they will see? But the way Allah looks is the question. I go back to the verse. In many verses okay, in the Okay, guys, Quran, did he yes, say the way Allah looks? Did he say the way Allah looks? <laughs> no, but you're not letting me finish. Uh, no, I'm you're not letting me finish. You're talking, I'm talking too. He, you just said the way Allah looks, so Allah is a shit. We don't know that. Is it, we is, don't know how he looks. You just, you we, just, we said, you just said the way Allah looks. You you will when you go to Jannah, uh -huh. you will see Allah's face. But right now we haven't seen him, so we is, don't know how he looks. Okay, That's guys, why you will see what, Allah. What is you will see Allah. Face? You will see Allah face. Did you hear it? So is Allah face is physical? You cannot describe it. This is not. I'm not, I'm not asking time. Abdul to describe it. I'm saying, is it physical or not? I just literally told you you cannot describe it. Okay, you just say it face. Well, yes. The second you say face, it's mean face. There's something called ass, and there's something called face. So Allah have a face, wonderful. So the second you say since, face, okay. Since, so, since you, oh, hold since, on, since, hold on. Since, so hold is on, that face? Yeah. Is that you, face? You, is, is that don't, face? Don't play games with me. Is that you, is a that a face, face for? You, you is that nothing. a real face or it's a fake face? You, you, since you claim to watch a lot of Zakir Naik videos, didn't Zakir Naik talk about this? No, I mean, you're I, a huge fan I, I, of him. Abdul, I'm not. Okay, tell me, what, tell me what Zakir Naik. Zakir Naik, he said, I can play the video for you. We'll die laughing. <laughs> Zakir Naik, Z Zakir no, Naik, Zakir Naik, Zakir Naik, he, he said, says Allah is a physical being. He never said that. He said Allah have a hand. Yeah, he said Allah has hands, but you cannot describe them. Who cares? So is that a physical hand or not? Uh, exactly, he just told you you cannot describe. It. Okay, is it a physical? Okay, is, it? okay, hold on, stupid. I'm not asking you to describe it, you donkey. Don't for me to, to hang up on you. I'm asking you. Allah have two hands. How many hands Allah have? So what is what? What does the Quran say? You yeah. know the Quran, you, right? You are the sheikh, not me. Huh? You are the sheikh. Two hands. Two hands. Correct? Guys, you have two hands. Okay, how many legs? The, whatever the Quran says. You tell me. Two, correct? Two, correct? Where, where, where it says you have two, leg, two legs. Can you show me the verse? Two hands. Two hands. You cannot hear no, me? I ask you about... It's just a stupid idiot. I'm not, I'm not here to, 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 play, to play with kids. Don't call me again. Stupid. I just asked you about legs and you said two legs. Everybody heard you. Potato. Where did uh, mosquitoes come from?
I just say two legs, and you say two legs. I ask, how many legs Allah have? You said two legs. The second I said to him, where he says that? I said two hands. <laughs> no time for kids. Abdul, potato. You are a joker. Your God Allah, even he have a shape. And not only that, he changed his shape. Like what the heck? He is brother. He do play hide and seek. What? Allah, he will come to them in a shape. Yes, brother. And they will not recognize him. Then, brother, what will happen after? Allah, he will go to his bedroom and he will change his shape. Like, what? Allah have many shapes. We ask him, is Allah physical? The coward, he said, uh, uh, no. <laughs> read carefully, read carefully. Allah will come to them in a shape other than they know. Like, what the heck? He just told me nobody can describe Allah. He just told me nobody saw Allah. Is the face of Allah is a physical? Nobody can describe Allah. Like, this is not the question. Now suddenly the Muslim they know how Allah looked like. So look, Allah will come to them in a shape other than they know. And they will say, I am your Lord. You know, I don't know, I'm not reading correctly because you know Muslims when they read Islam or something, they, they, they make echo. You go to a Muslim chat room in Paltok, they love echo, they worship it. They are number one people who use echo in the world. So they read for you, they say, Allah will come to them, to them, to them, to them, in the shape, in the shape, in the shape, in the other than they knew, 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 knew. And he will say, 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 I am your Lord, 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 Lord. They will say, we seek, seek, seek refuge, 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 with Allah, Allah, Allah. And from this place, our place, 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 place. place. The most hilarious chat rooms is Muslim chat room where nobody dare to chat. You know, once I went to a chat room, Muslim chat room, everybody have red dot, which means nobody can use text. So I text the guy, you can text him in private if his, his, his account open to receive the message. I said, uh, what this, uh, what, what, they are to, what, what he's playing in the, in the audio? He said, uh, I don't know. It's time to Muslim? He said, yeah. He said, so you don't know what he's saying? He said, I don't speak Arabic. He said, why, why everybody have red dot? Aren't they all Muslims? He said, yes. He said, so why they have red dot? They cannot chat. He says, because it's not allowed. I said, allowed what? Not allowed to ask questions. <coughs> it's education time. It's education time. You join the classroom and don't ask a question, brother. University of no questions. Everybody will graduate with degree of Sharia law. You will learn when it is halal to shave your underarm. But don't ask questions, they are serious. A Muslim girl, she called the Sharia TV law, Sharia program, and she asked, a, a, a brother, <clears throat> she, obviously she is a whore. You know, the way she was talking, she was um, very, very bad, you know. But maybe she is just making fun, I don't know. Uh, she called the sheikh, the two sheikhs. Assalamu alaikum. The sheikh, he said, wa alaikum salam, sister. She said, my sister told me that when I take off my clothes, the fish, they start shaking when I take off my clothes, see my beautiful body, and I'm naked. The sheikh, he started sweating. The other guy, he's drinking water. He, he whipped the whole water in his mouth. And then, <clears throat> okay, the sister. <clears throat> so, uh, <clears throat> so you are in your room and you take off your clothes and the sh fish is shaking. Sister, I, I think, well, Iyazubillah, sister, those uh, fish are genie and they are looking at your pure, beautiful body, sister. I advise you, sister, not to take off your clothes in the front of the fish tank, sister. Uh, the girl, she said, oh, but this is the only room I have. Then the guy, he said, <clears throat> okay, sister. <clears throat> a sister, I think it's better for you then if they cover it by blanket. Like, what the heck? You see how serious the program? I mean, the girl, she's taking off her clothes. And the fish is masturbating. 
What a dirty fish. What a filthy son of a muta fish. I mean, shame on you. We bring you to our house. We put you in a fish tank. We feed you every day. And now you are going to watch Fatima taking off her clothes. And you masturbate, you filthy. If I am you, I will barbecue the fish. I will shoot it. A fish shaking when she is taking her panty? Like what the heck? Scientifically approved, brother. The same thing. You ask them, okay, Allah have a shin. How the, what, how, what is the shin of Allah? You cannot ask questions. Allah, he sit in the chair. How is the chair? You cannot ask questions. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh. Hey, Muslims, we Christian, we say hallelujah. What about you? You start saying shenanuya. Your God is a shen. All your God is. What is okay, if Allah is a shen, his face is where? In the shen? That's deep. Yeah, you know, like you go to the you go, you go to do do fishing. If you go fishing, and you will see the guy who is very handsome, a lot he will get a lot of fish, because female fish they get uh, horny when they see him. You know, I think that the male fish only the one is coming to me. You know, they are those uh, homosexual fish. <laughs> they look at me, and this guy look like so manly. Oof. You know, crazy religion, man. What a stupid cult. A guy, he opened the door in his wife. He saw his wife touching herself. He posted in internet about what he saw. The answer from the sheikh, brother, she is having sex with the genie. Like, what the heck? He opened the door. He saw his wife touching herself. What is the solution? What is my wife doing? The sheikh, he have the answer. She is having sex with the genie. It's not like this Abdul is a stupid. He should go and he jump in the bed instead of her touching herself. <laughs> no, it is the genie having sex with her. Like what? My friend, Islam is a pure logical religion. And everything there is certain, 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 certain what the word? Scientific, sorry. <laughs> oh boy. <sighs> what we can say? What we can say? You can say nothing. A question. All this knowledge is coming from the pure prophet, brother. Can a jinn have sex with my wife? Look at the question. Like, what? Brother, what? This is the question? Answer. When a man has intercourse, this is the hadith, with his wife, and does not say the name of Allah, and he say the prayer, the jinn, the shaitan, will call around his yur, yurtra, yurtra, I'm saying the word correctly, and has intercourse along with him. Like, what the heck? There's a smart Muslim, he used to come to a Christian chat room, and they give him the mic, and each time they give him the mic, he say the same, you Christians, you are the sons of shaitan. The Christians, they don't know what he's saying. What he's saying, the way you are saying of shaitan, he thought like he's there because they don't believe in the same God, supposedly. Maybe, but I know what he's talking about. He's talking about this. So uh, the admin there, he sent me a message. He says, can you please get this guy busted? Out? We don't know what to say to him. I know you can do it. So I said, man, I'm busy doing work. And I said, just come on, take the mic for a minute. So I took the microphone. I said to him, so why you are saying that uh, Christians are 
He said, because the Prophet, he said that if you don't say the prayer, or you know, shaitan will round himself around your penis and he will be doing boom boom to your mother. <laughs> he was laughing. I took the microphone again and I said, are you sure? Because you guys speak at the same time. He said, I'm sure, but so absolutely. I said, this is Sahih Hadith, are you sure? He said, this is, I'm very sure, <laughs> very sure. You are a son of Satan. <laughs> I said, are you sure? He said, the three times you eat it, how many times I need to repeat for you? Because Muhammad, he asked three times always. So I said, well, based on what you just said, Muhammad himself is a son of Shaitan. Because Muhammad father, he wasn't a believer. And Muhammad mother, she wasn't a believer. Therefore, when he did boom, boom to her, he did not say the prayer. Therefore, Shaitan, he round himself around the penis of Muhammad's father. And he was doing it all night to his mother. You should see the Abdul. He took the microphone. <laughs> May Allah curse you. May Allah kill you. <laughs> you are smart like the devil. <laughs> hey, Abdul took it. How to take it easy? It's you who said to me this is true. What's wrong with you? I asked you three times, are you sure? You said, I'm sure. Are you sure? That's why the Muslim, they, they say in the article, if a Christian prince, he said, I am sure. Are you sure? Hang up. Like, what the heck? When you hear a Christian prince saying to you, are you sure? You should hang up and claim that your internet is lost. Hey Muslims, Muhammad is a holy prophet. Are you sure? I'm sure you are sure. Very sure. And very mature. And very genius. I mean, look at this. Who knows this save prophet of a god? And here the reference, brother. Look at the reference, brother. Al-Hakim al hakim al turmudi he said in the book, etc., in the page, etc., blah, 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 etc. He says, narrated from Mujahid when a man, when a man has intercourse with his wife and he does not name Allah. The jinn calls around his penis and has intercourse along with him. I don't know how women they feel with this. Three some? Three some? And you don't know. You guys are doing three sum and you have no idea. Actually, there is more funny story about supposedly Solomon. Anyone remember the story we read to you before? Solomon, when he lost the ring, how he lost the ring, by the way? He went to the bathroom, you remember? He went to the bathroom, he gave it to his wife. His wife, his name is Zajarada. So, Shaitan. He took the look of Solomon, brother, and he come to the wife, and he made himself, he just left the bathroom. She gave him the ring, and by wearing the ring, he controlled the kingdom. And same, a very nice cartoon movie. And then the wives, and, and then and, they, and he ordered the soldiers to kick Suleiman from the, from the palace. Like, what the heck? The real king now is out of the palace. But the wives, when Suleiman, he went to the bedroom, they noticed that he is so good in boom boom business. This is the mistake of the devil. He was doing boom boom to the wives of Suleiman non stop. Like one after one after one. They said to him, Don't you want to eat? Aren't you tired? No, 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 we want to continue. Come on, we need to take a break, man. Fire is coming from there. He says, No, 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 we continue, we continue. So the wives they went to the elders of the kingdom and they reported how horny he is, and they said, This is unusual. And then the elder, by this incident, that he is so good in bed, they discover that this is not the true Solomon. Which is really funny, because according to Muhammad, Solomon, he can have sex with 99 women in one night. I mean, what? Me, myself, I cannot do it. I mean, I mean 97 maybe, 96 to be honest, uh, you know, like, okay, that is not to exaggerate, 95 maybe, but 99 women in one night? Yes, Prophet Muhammad, he said that he, he wanted to have children to have to do jihad, but he forgot to say, inshallah. 
And based on this, Shaitan was calling around his penis too. <laughs> anyway, to make the long story short, as you see, Islam is just, just a joke. Islam is just a stupid religion. You cannot be really a serious person and you believe in such a madness.